What's up weirdos, you know that feeling when you're a girlfriend and you post a video and your boyfriend's in it and then the entire internet hates your boyfriend? In my opinion, that's a sign that you gotta leave that dog. If there is a moment where the entire internet is looking at your boyfriend going, he does not deserve you, in my opinion, it's almost always him not deserving you. And that is what happened with Shelby Wilfong when she posted this video. God, I feel bad for her. You might've seen this video before, but if not, this one kinda went viral and I wanted to watch it first to get context before we dig a little bit deeper into who he is. So let's get into it. I really want an orange right now. All right, try right here, but. I got you, buddy. Here yep. you go. Go get me it? No. Eight seconds in, it doesn't seem that bad. It seems like I'm clickbaiting. Really? Everybody hates this guy? She wanted an orange. He got her an orange. But this is a thing. This is like a trend people are doing on TikTok where it's like, would you would you peel this orange for me to see if the boyfriend even cares? And let me tell you, the way he fumbles so hard. Okay, we'll just watch it. But oh my God. I really want it, but like I hate peeling it. You hate peeling it? Yeah. Right, it just cool. gets really messy. Okay. Cool. And I have nails. It'll get like underneath them. Tough luck, buddy. Go ahead and do her. Talking to your girlfriend when she's asking you to do something for her? Tough luck, buddy. We're 20 seconds in, and the first time I saw this, I had my fingers crossed, begging him to be joking, begging him to be like, oh, no, I'm just kidding, oh, let me do it for you. Of course I'll do it for you. And sorry for calling you buddy. You're my sweet girlfriend, not my buddy. If you have a sweet girlfriend, you shouldn't call her buddy. You should call her, uh, big dog. <laughs> yeah, mostly big dog. Hey, peel it for yourself, big dog. I would love to help you out, but you're gonna have to peel that orange for yourself, big dog. She's gonna accept it if you say it like that. You're not gonna peel it for me? Dude, okay. As if I don't do enough. Seriously? Yeah, I'm being for real. You can't fucking peel this orange for me. Dude, I ask you to do things all the I time. I do everything. Do I just did your fucking laundry. No. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sorry, the first bit, it could have been a joke. He could have saved it, but then he continues. By the way, you can totally tell what her tone is. If she is talking to you like this, how is your reaction gonna be? No, no, for real. For real, I'm not gonna do it for you. No, I'm not joking around. I'm actually not gonna do that for you. No joke. He's literally acting like a child. And then the bomb that she dropped. I literally just did your laundry? And then he says, no, are you out of your mind? So let's pause right here and just see a, a little bit of the reaction that broke was getting. Please go find yourself someone that will never say, you're not really that special. I don't understand that last part. Because for someone you love, no matter how they are, they will. Okay, oronks? Either I'm currently experiencing early onset Alzheimer's or you have got to figure out how to write a sentence. This titty gave me PTSD. Oh, this TikTok gave me PTSD. I was gonna say. What happens in the rest of the video? I don't think I should watch. Girl, just run. That's what I'm saying. This video blew up and went so viral. Everybody was posting it. It has 22 million views on TikTok. It has hundreds of millions of views all across like Twitter. If you're looking at people like quote tweeting and stuff, what am I gonna do? The classic joke of, oh, sorry, I mean X. <laughs> Such a boring joke. This person just tweeted out, if you wouldn't peel an orange for your wife, you need to be shot dead. I agree. 123,000 likes. I can't emphasize enough. This is so big. Everybody hates this guy. Then somebody quote tweeted that with this video that got 188,000 likes. Just this quote tweet, 32 million views. <laughs> Women with sexy faces always want you to do shit for them. Bitch, first of all, make me a list so I won't forget nothing. <laughs> I'm telling you, the replies to this tweet, like the replies have thousands, tens of thousands of likes. I cannot emphasize enough how how big of a deal this has become and it's just this one loser. I'm making a video about this because you are such a loser. Do you realize how much of a loser you have to be? I made a video about a TikTok dad because he was such a loser. He doesn't even compare to how much of a loser you are. Actually, I don't know, that TikTok dad kinda sucked. And then like, look at this Jasmine Rice girl who is like a really, you know, makes good tick uh, tweets. <laughs> I'm always seeing her tweet. She's like on the tweet page. What do you call that? Not the for you, but who gives a shit? Honestly, who gives a fuck? Shut the fuck up, Cooper. Anyways, she said, I asked my chronically offline boyfriend to peel me an orange while he was working. And he got up immediately and went to the door and I was like, where are you going? And he said, we don't have any oranges, so I'll go get one from the store for you. <laughs> now, do I believe this? I truly don't, I don't. But it has 112,000 likes and maybe it's true. But the point is, I'm trying to illustrate how everybody is dunking on him and everybody is getting a lot of likes for dunking on him. Like truly everybody hates this guy. But first real quick. Yeah, I wanna thank the sponsor of today's video, Aura. Are you tired of receiving constant spam phone calls? Cause personally I am like, look at this. These are all the spam calls that I was getting before I started using Aura. That is too much. And it got to the point that I didn't even want to answer my phone in general. Like if it was an unrecognized number, I just assume it's spam and I don't answer. The reason that happens is cause there's these people called data brokers who will have your information when you enter your phone number or email on different websites and like it's leaked or like they find ways to make it really difficult to do that and opt out. But Aura can handle that all for you. And that's not even it. Aura does so much to help protect you from online. 
threats. It's really easy to set up, especially so you don't have to download several different apps to get antivirus, VPN, password management, parental controls, all of that, identity theft insurance, and more, all in one place with Aura for one affordable price. So let Aura do the hard work of keeping you safe online. So to stop these people from profiting off your private information, go to aura.com forward slash film cooper, and you'll get a 14 day free trial to see all of your private information that's been compromised. Or click the link in my description below. Thank you so much to Aura for sponsoring this video. Now back to the other stuff. So let's keep watching this video a little bit because this is as far as I have ever gotten and apparently there are really, really bad lines that keep coming throughout this. And you can't peel this for me? Dude, come on, man. Seriously? No, figure your life out, dude. It's not all about what your man can do for you. It's about what you can do for yourself, right? Didn't she just do your laundry? Blink, blink, blink. Are you serious? What are you talking about? By the way, there are people who are like, this is clearly a skit. Uh-uh. We'll look at their other videos because I did some research and they've definitely got like staged like skit videos. This? You do not film this video unless you fundamentally do not respect your girlfriend. You would never agree to post a video where you look this awful as a boyfriend. You would never do that. Even if they planned it, even if they scripted it, you do not say these things knowing that this is going to be posted and you're going to make your girlfriend look like this. Because it's really saying, look, the person you love does not respect you. That's so insulting to her. This guy is a red flag. He doesn't have red flags. He is one. I need to calm down for a second and drink my taro uh, milky juice box. It says right here that it's Korea's favorite. Also, my fingernails aren't painted right now because I had to like take them off because I'm filming a short film in a couple days. And by the way, I submitted just the screenplay of it to like film festivals and it got into a film festival in Prague, like a screenplay competition in Prague. Do I know where Prague is? No, but it sounds fancy and good. Anyways, back to the video. I don't know why I'm talking about that. A good boyfriend would peel this for me right. or like do something and for me that I'm perfectly capable of. Obviously, I can peel this, but like if and you were- a great boyfriend would tell you to do it yourself. I'm not a good boyfriend, I'm a great one. And I'm trying to make you strong and independent and build you up as a female. Well, that's the point. I'm trying to make you strong and independent and build you up as a female? He dropped the female? By the way, really funny joke there how F-E is the uh, nomenclature for iron. So the female technically means Iron Man? Whoa! Why would you say that to her? You're not Robert Downey Jr. You're not! And FYI, if you were, he would never talk to Mrs. Downey like this. You want to build her up as a strong and independent female? female? Okay, make her fin for herself. Leave her because I guarantee you she'll be better off without you. Yeah, she will learn how to be stronger and more independent with your absence. And you know what? That will be better because you are a malignant tumor on her life. I've said malignant tumor twice in the past couple weeks. Man, it's a good word. Good couple words if you put them together. But he is. Like, I'm trying to make you a strong, independent female. Hey, babe, I'm trying to make you a strong, independent wife. That's why I'm leaving you with the kids. What? No, that doesn't make any sense. No, you don't understand, babe. A good boyfriend would do something nice for you. A great boyfriend would never do anything nice for you so that you have to do it all yourself. <laughs> I'm going to go play Overwatch 2 with the boys. Real men don't play Overwatch 2. Real men play Lego Fortnite and drink Korea's favorite taro milk juice box drink. The Koreans do it right. If this is the favorite of the Koreans, trust me. Koreans, you've got a friend in me. Anybody out there who's an enemy of the Koreans, get back. Get back. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm trying to deflect. Okay, let's watch this video. No more deflecting. Let's just burn through this. I severely do not like this man. Do it, I can do it myself, but like the point is that you would do it for me yeah, as but, like an act of service. Then, but, then you, but then you wake up and you realize that you can actually just do it yourself. Like you're not even that special. That's the thing. It's like get that in your fucking skull, dude. Like you're really not that special. Okay, then I'll just peel this orange for myself then. All right, go ahead. Oh, took you long enough. By the way, it's just a skit believers out there. Kneel. Bow your head. Bow your head. That's you're wrong, okay? Basically, I'm saying you're wrong. If it is a skit, then he is just as bad. I don't understand. Like, he is being himself. In skits like this are like relationship skits. You want to be like, oh, hey, I'm, 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 I'm a boyfriend to her. Hey, let me do this for you real quick. Let me feel that. To go online and make yourself look like a manipulative, horrible, horrible boyfriend, you have to actually be like that to think that this is okay. Even in a skit context, you would never make this if it was a skit if you didn't think that the man in this situation is in the right. 
By the way, he's not a man. He's a little dirt boy. Little dirt boy! Get down, dirt boy! Little dirt boy! Peel that orange, dirt boy! Then maybe you'll be a mud king like me! I just saw this comment over here. I will pack your bags for you. Yes! Oh, girl, you don't even believe how much that's true for you, baby! Yes! Yes! Pack your bags! Pack your bags, Shelby! You're gonna look at your girlfriend in the face and say you're not even that special? How could you ever kiss that boy again? How could you ever do that? I'm, like, joking around a little bit, but I'm being for real. Like, when somebody looks you in the eyes and says, do it yourself, buddy, you're not even that special. When are you gonna get that through your skull? You're not special. How are you then gonna look at them and go, oh my god, baby, I love you so much. Let me fold your laundry for you, little baby boy. Little mama's boy. Because that's what he is. He's a little mommy boy. And by the way, when people are like, uh, he literally just wants her to be his mom. Do not treat your mother like this. How dare you? If you think this is an okay way to treat your mother as a grown man, are you, uh, by the way, as a kid, do not ever treat your mom like this. Do you understand what she's gone through? Oh, don't you even start with me, young man. That's that video. Now let's go look at their couples page. They have a couples page called Tino and Sh Shelby with 177,000 followers. By the way, Tino, I already know his name is Tino. Tino is an Italian name or nickname. Oh, it's Italian. This guy's Italian. Is that a thing about Italians? They suck. I don't have any preconceived notion about that. Hey, Italians out there, if you had to rank yourself, if you had to choose, are you better or worse than Koreans? And by the way, for everybody else, while the Italians are commenting their answer, I just want to say, if there is a single Italian out there who says that they're better than the Koreans, they are wrong. Italians never gave me an Italy favorite taro flavored milk drink juice box. Okay, here is their most recent video though. Babe, I'm gonna try this test on you and you're gonna finish their name. Ready? Yeah. Okay. Justin. Beaver. Selena. Gomez. Lisa. Ann. Or, uh, Lisa. See, the thing is, this is obviously scripted. The joke here is, I can't stop touching on my privates. Put me in the bathroom alone with my cell phone? Trust me, I'm gonna start Googling stuff and touching on my wiener. <laughs> No, but I'm saying that's what he- that's the joke? That you can't stop googling inappropriate things and so much that you never even see your parents again because you can't stop googling it? That's the joke? But you know what I mean? Like, this is a skit. It also does tell you about who he is as a guy. Tino! Justin Bieber, Selena Gomez, Lisa- uh, 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 Flashbacks! Oh my god! Oh my god, my wiener! Oh my god! <laughs> By the way, the comments, mm-hmm, that's him. Drop him, girl. Girl, you a whole lot prettier than anything. You can and will find someone better that will peel five oranges for you. I hope it's not a skit, but you'll find one. Tino, you better peel that orange for her, buddy! Sorry, I know it was like not all caps with exclamation points, but it definitely had that vibe. Don't just run, fly away! From him. <laughs> <laughs> That's my Radio Rebel moment. Hey guys, remember when I made a video about Radio Rebel? Check it out, Radio Rebel. Get you a girl that does the dishes, that cooks, that cleans. Look at this little munch. And what do you do for me? What do I do for you? I do it all, baby. Like what? Come on, you know I be doing it all. I'm daddy, chill out. Here's my thing. Okay. Oh, we're having a laugh. Oh, we're joking around. This is true. This is where this video is coming from is because she does everything for him and he does nothing. I don't think you like it. That's what it is. By the way, the comment right here. That's right. Train her real good. Shut up. Righteous smoke. And let me tell you this. Coming from my perspective as somebody who came up on TikTok, like Cody Ko was a Viner and then he was a YouTuber. I was a TikToker and then I was a YouTuber. Oh my God. Am I, am I the second wave? Am I part of the TikTok wave? But the thing is, I know what goes in these videos where people will see this and then be like, oh my gosh, it's like the whole, it's like funny, it's cute, they're joking around, like it's just a skit, like it's not real. When you're filming something like this, you're trying to have good camera presence and you're trying to like say things that you think are like funny or interesting, but you're not being a different person. Like there's the performative level where people can look really good online, but actually be really bad behind the scenes. And that just means they're really good at, you know, performing and like having this like mask of who they are. But I'd be hard pressed to find somebody who makes the type of content that these people make, where the boyfriend looks bad, like a bad person. And then is like, oh no, he's actually really cool in real life. He just acts like a complete loser in the videos. But in real life, yeah, he's really cool. No, you don't get successful by acting like a loser. You get one viral video where everybody hates you and then you never have any sort of lasting success. And most people know that. That's why they try to be likable and you know, have a mask of goodness. Nobody puts on a mask of shit. And even the people who you could argue do that, like uh, the scumbag dad, his videos are so clearly satire. And that word gets thrown around so much that it's ridiculous, but he is like so clearly making satirical comedy. Like I'm sure he's gonna make a TikTok making fun of this type of thing, like with the orange peel. Let me show you who I'm talking about. Like this, look at this, look at this. He knows hey, he honey. messed up. Crying emoji. 
Oh, oh, because the joke here is like, people will make this type of bullshit video and then the wife will go, oh my God, what are you doing this for? Oh, it was a fork, oh, come on, you use chopstick. And it's like, obviously like fake. He will make himself look like he's being the annoying a-hole boy, but not for one second are we actually watching this video and being like, he's that person in real life. Like the joke is that these types of things are scripted and she doesn't care. This is the only type of person that I think you could ever say acts like a loser online, but is actually like probably really nice in real life with this type of content, you know? But he's making clearly satirical videos, like but actually the definition of that word. Tino and Shelby are the type of people that he makes fun of. And I genuinely think these types of videos are an indication of who he is behind the scenes in real life. And that when we see that orange peel video, we're not looking at a man who's trying to be a loser for a viral TikTok. He is a loser. He has a pattern of talking about how she does things all the time for him, but he doesn't do anything. But it's good because I'm boy, your girl. Boys play Overwatch 2, girls, yeah, they cooking clean. Yeah, 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 they do all that stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 I, I, no, I actually think that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's played out, it's annoying, it's lame, it's pathetic. And me, to you, Tino, I genuinely hope that she breaks up with you and you go on some sort of arc where you blossom like a butterfly and turn into a real person who can actually exist in society. Because right now, you're a little boy. A little boy who doesn't even play Lego Fortnite like a real man like me does. Just. Get a grip! Oh my god. Do you understand why everybody hates this guy? Like, it's, I'm not joking. Everybody on the internet hates this man. But thank you so much for sticking through and watching this video with me. I love you so much. Please subscribe, weirdos. I got this cup from the Cheesecake Factory. You can see right here because it says on the, the logo. It says the Cheesecake Factory. And so what I did was I was eating and then I got a bag to go and I realized, wait, there's a little bit of space in this and I really like this cup. And I was on a date with Sophia and we had eaten so much food and I, I asked the waitress, I said, hey, can I buy this cup? And she said, don't even worry about it. You can take it home for free. Just don't tell anybody. So. Oh my god, I'm telling everybody. Don't wait.